Switcher here. Uh, one thing to talk about these heads, these these uh, Black Star heads. I mean, <clears throat> you know, we obviously ministry is a very heavy band, um, but these heads are very versatile. We use the clean channel. lose any of that tone you know um, we do use the clean channels on a couple of ministry tracks and then uh, I've got a crunch channel for some of the old classic ministry stuff which <clears throat> it doesn't have a lot of like gain 
Uh, it's just almost like turning, plugging straight into an amp and just turning it up like, you know, to 10. That's kind of the, the crunch uh, channel that I use on this. And then I've got my, my OD1, which is my straight rhythm channel for some of the newer ministry stuff. And then I go to OD2 for my leads just to give me a little bit more of a boost. Um, <clears throat> so these heads are very versatile. It's not just a metal head. I mean, you can play blues, jazz, you can do all kinds of stuff with these heads. They sound really good and you don't lose anything in the tone. Um, we get all of our distortion from these heads. I don't have any distortion pedals down here. Um, a lot of people sometimes ask, you know, what kind of distortion pedal are you using? And we don't. Uh, everything's coming from this head. Uh, down here, literally, I mean, for when I do clinics and stuff like that, I have a very condensed pedal board. So right now I'm literally just going my uh, tuner, you know, my mini wah, and then I have an MXR uh, carbon copy delay and a DOD phaser. And that's it. Uh, for ministry, I mean, we have a much bigger board, but we really don't use a lot of effects. Ministry is just kind of a band that, you know, just kind of plugs in, turns it up. Uh, we have a couple of tracks where, you know, like a song like So What, uh, where we use a lot of effects, and I'm using like a reverb and a delay and um, this 12-string uh, pedal. Um, but other than that, I mean, we're pretty straightforward. Um, we don't use a lot of effects. Um, so that's what's in my, uh, my uh, signal right now. Yeah. That and my big boots. So, um, any other questions? No? Yeah, as a player, yep. as, as, as a professional player, how, how do you avoid tendonitis and other kind of overusage? Uh, I don't. Okay. <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> uh, I hate to say this, but it sucks Scratch. getting old. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, there's, there's really, I wish I had an answer. Um, we try to do what we can. We try to ice and, you know, uh, you know, but yeah, but yeah, we try to stretch. We, we do do all those things, but I've been fairly lucky with that. I really haven't had many problems with my hands. Every now and then, uh, depending on how heavy the tour cycle is, I'll start to feel, you know, just this... Uh, it's like this, like your hand is just super tired, and it gets a little tough to you know, to just kind of uh, work on the neck there. But um, but I've been pretty lucky. Um, aside from that, you know, just take some ibuprofens and ice and stretch and, you know, try to get somebody to rub your hands, you know. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, but, you know, there's no real answer or uh, solution for that. I think it just happens, and it's unfortunate when it happens to guys, you know. But uh, just try to take care of yourself and do the best you can, and ice ibuprofen, and you know, try to chill when you feel that it's that it's acting up. What I've found is just take, stepping away, and taking some time off a little bit usually, you know, helps when I start to feel that. Yeah. Thank you. Any questions? What kind of tubes do they come with? Tubes on the on the Series One EL thirty fours, and we use. This is the 100 watt head that I'm using right now. We use the 200 waters uh, with Ministry, and it's myself, Caesar, our other guitar player, and Al. So the three of us are uh, are using those those heads, and we are super loud. Like what I'm playing right now is like not even a quarter of what it sounds like. We just to give you guys an idea, when we rehearse, we rehearse at about 125 dB. That's just our rehearsal room. And, um, you know, so when we're on, Al is partially deaf. And so now we're all partially deaf because of that. But, uh, you know, he just wants everything louder and louder. So, yeah. And these amps, I mean, I don't know if you notice on some amps, sometimes you, you know, when they're at a certain volume, they start to just crap out and you start to lose tone and you just, you, you know, it, it just starts to bottom out and it, these don't do that. I mean, we push these things really hard. Um, they sound great, you know. Yeah, you know, what we're doing up here, too, for this smaller room, there's a, uh, a feature on 